first select Shaded with Edges. Select on Tutor 2 from the Feature Manager. This will select the entire part. Click the Edit Color icon. In the Color and Optics Property Manager, select a favorite color and click OK. Display an isometric view and click Save. You now just created your second part. You need Tutor 1 and Tutor 2 to create the assembly. Click Next. Click File, Open, or from your drop-down list, click Tutor 1. Tutor 1 was created in Lesson 1. Click New. Select Assembly and click OK. Click Tutor 1 from the Part Assembly to Insert list. Tutor 1 is on the mouse pointer. Click a position in the Graphics window to place Tutor 1. Click Insert Component and select on Tutor 2. Tutor 2 is now displayed on the mouse pointer. With my middle mouse button, I'm going to zoom out and position Tutor 2. Select Zoom to Fit and click Next. Assembly mating relations between components make them align or fit together. Click on Mate, select the top edge of Tutor 1, Select the top edge of Tutor 2. It's a good idea to zoom in and select the edge of Tutor 2. The two edges are aligned coincident. The Mate pop-up box is displayed by default. Click the green check mark to add and finish Mate. Click Next from the tutorial. If I try to move Tutor 1, you will notice that it rotates about the edge selected to mate between Tutor 1 and Tutor 2. Mates remove degrees of freedom. We need to add additional mates to fully define our assembly. Click Next. Select the right face of Tutor 1 and select the right face of Tutor 2. Coincident is selected by default. Click the green check mark to add and finish mate. A degree of freedom has been removed. We still need to add one more mate. Select the top face of Tutor 2 and the top face of Tutor 1. Coincident is selected by default. Click the green check mark to add and finish the mates. Click OK from the Mate Property Manager and click Next. Save the assembly. You can modify the display state. Click the Configuration tab, Expand Default, and Expand Display State. Right click on Display State. Click Add Display State. On the Feature Manager design tree, Expand the Show Display pane. Move the mouse pointer to Tutor 2 Row and Display State column. Right-click on the icon and select Hidden Lines Visible. The Tutor 2 component is displayed in Hidden Lines Visible. Click on the Configurations tab. Click on Display State 1 to display the colored version of Tutor 2 and click on Display State 2 to display hidden lines visible. Return to Display State 1. Your assembly for Lesson 2 is complete. Click Save.